Hi, this is Chris Gerald with Everyday VBA. This video, we're going to be doing a solution to the Macro Monday transpose a table anywhere. Now, this is a fun one. Um, you'll remember I, if you select on the table and you hit uh, the, the macro, it actually just transposes it where it sits. So, um, so what we're going to do this time, um, in the first video, what we did is we actually did that all in A1. So we took the uh, the formats in A1 and we did that but now there are times where you're going to want to make sure that you just transpose it no matter where that table is so the key is uh, I'm going to go to my Visual Basic Editor um, we're going to go through this real quick I'm going to go through it all line by line now I've already written the code uh, because I want to spend more time just explaining what I'm doing versus typing and talking so first thing we need to do is in the original we use just cell A1 now that's really easy because what happens is when you pull the data into your array um, that array starts in 1, 1, so it makes it very easy to do. So we're still going to pull it into the array uh, because it's quicker, it makes it cleaner, um, and arrays are significantly faster. I know that when I started coding, um, I would do everything on a sheet, and it took forever, and arrays just make it significantly faster. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to walk through this. Um, we're going to pull um, the range as the current region, and we're going to pull that into a, an array. So when I hit um, F8 here, it's actually going to pull that bad boy in. Let's take a look at it. And now we have an array. Um, and that array, it's a 1 by, let's see, drag it over here. It's a 1 by 11. So it's a 1 by 11 array, which is great. It's a size, it's, you know, um, actually it's not 1 to 11 and 1 to 7. So it's 11 rows long and 7 columns wide. Now, that actually perfectly matches this this right here. So 11 and then 7, 7 across. So now that we've collected that data, we can actually delete it. So let's go ahead and delete that data. So um, we still have our range, right? So um, And this is going to give us our range column, right? So if we do... Um, the range column minus one, which is basically going to give us our start point. And that minus one doesn't make sense yet, but I'll kind of explain why that works. So what we're going to do now is we're basically going to go th exactly through that loop. And we're going to loop through our, our, um, our array. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to offset the cells based on its starting point. Because you'll notice that the O array starts in 1, 1 right here which is 1 1 uh, this is 1 1 and it goes it goes to 1 7 well that's not where our range was so we need to account for that and that's why we have a start row and a start column now the reason that we we offset those by negative 1 is because when we get down here um, we've already got we're already starting on row 1 so we can't add an additional row um, we actually have to subtract that. Now, I could have just done S row and then I could have subtracted one and actually that's kind of how I started, but I just feel like this is cleaner. And so as we go through this, it just, because of these offsets of the rows and the columns, it transpose, transposes perfectly. And you'll, you'll notice if I hit F5 all the way through, it is completely transposed that. Now, um, Let's give this another shot. So now if we do this again, um, you'll notice that really all I'm doing is I'm looping through this array and I altered it very little and I wanted to do that because as we go week by week, it's kind of nice to say, oh, well, it's starting to make sense. Um, and so you'll notice that this is virtually identical as the last one, except we're adding a start row and a start column and we've got to collect that. So really all that's changed in this code is we've got uh, our range is not A1 current region, it's selection current region. Um, we still pass it into an array. We clear our range still. We find our start row and our start columns, and then we adjust those start row, start columns in our array. So that is the solution to the Macro Monday challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys do not know how Macro Monday works, I post a video of Macro Monday on Every Monday, I post the solution on Friday. Uh, it gives you guys a week to figure it out, to try it, and really just to stay current and learn different things in VBA. I hope you guys enjoyed.